Hello viewers, in this session we will discuss about permeability of concrete and alkali aggregate reaction. We will start from permeability of concrete. What is permeability of concrete? If we talk about the permeability of concrete in the simple language, this property is allowed to pass the water mass from our body. So permeability is one of the important factor for the strength and the durability of the concrete mass. As we have discussed earlier in the previous topics, for the complete hydration, there is a requirement of the 38 percentage by the weight of the cement mass is required. If we are not providing that quantity of the water mass, so there will be incomplete of the hydration process. In the opposite case, if you are adding the more water mass greater than 38 percentage, so there will be undesirable capillary cavities forms and this will enhance the permeability of the concrete mass. And we know that the pores in the cement paste, there are the bell pores and capillary pores. Both are in the particular pores in the concrete structure. And the permeability of gel is about 7 into 10 raised to minus 16 meter per second which is about the one part of the hundred of the paste and hence the gel pores do not contribute the permeability of the cement paste and the capillary pores about 0 to 40 percentage of the paste the volume they much large than gel pores so it follows the permeability of the cement paste is controlled by its capillary porosity and let us discuss about importance of permeability first one in the rcc in reinforced concrete penetration of the water and the air will result in corrosion of the steel which you are using in your element that will leading to the expansion cracking and disruption of the concrete mass and the second one is permeability is very important in case of the liquid retaining structures like dams water tanks where the water tight net is necessary so permeability is important in this case let us discuss about factor affecting to the permeability first one is properties of cement the properties of cement will affect to the permeability of the concrete because the coarser size of the particles of the cement will increase the permeability of the concrete compared to the lesser size of the particles of the cement mass and if we talk about the strength of the cement if you are using the high grade of the cement mass in that case there will be decrease of permeability and if you are using the low grade of the cement in that case increase the permeability of concrete the second one is aggregates aggregates is an inner material of the concrete mass and if you are using the coarser size or larger size of the aggregates in that case pores size will be larger and in that case the permeability will high if you are using the graded aggregate with the different size of the aggregate in that case there will be less permeability of concrete in the third case absorption of concrete third case is absorption of concrete the volume of pore space in concrete is measured by absorption and absorption is a physical properties by which the water drawn into the concrete mass and this water fills to the pores and capillaries in the concrete mass and this absorption 
is depend on the structure of the concrete mass and this will affect to the permeability of the concrete fourth one is age of concrete as we know in the earlier stage the hydration process is in the beginning stage with the increasing of the time the hydration process there will be increase the 2.1 times of the volume of gel of the unhydrated cement so with increasing the age of the cement there will decrease the permeability of concrete next one is curing with increasing the curing process there will be decrease the permeability if we compare to the wet curing or steam curing in steam curing there will be high magnitude of the permeability compared to the wet curing of the concrete and next one is water cement ratio as we know with increasing the water cement ratio there will be increase the permeability and if we are using the low water cement ratio there will be low of permeability and last one is use of admixture with using of the waterproofing admixture you can decrease the magnitude of the permeability and in general case you can also use this extra cement particles in your concrete mass to decreasing the permeability in case of porous concrete in that case after the treatment of surface you can decrease the permeability so these are the main factors affecting to the permeability of concrete let us discuss about alkali aggregate reaction as we know we are using aggregates in concrete mass as a inner material but some aggregates contain the reactive type silicate and this type of the aggregate react with alkali present in the cement paste and there will be unlimited swelling and this reaction is known as alkali aggregate reaction now let us discuss about factor affecting to the alkali aggregate reaction first factor which is the reactive types of aggregate if you are using the reactive type of the aggregate in that case there will be maximum chance to occur alkali aggregate reaction second one is high alkali content in cement third one is availability of moisture fourth one is fineness of cement particles so these are the main factors which will affect to the alkali aggregate reaction and you should consider these points in your concrete mass now let us discuss about how to measure or control alkali aggregate reaction with using of the non reactive type aggregates this is the first point second one is by restricting the alkali content in the cement it should be below 0.6 percentage third one is by controlling temperature the ideal temperature for the promotion of alkali aggregate reaction is range between 10 degree celsius to 38 degree celsius and by controlling the moisture condition by controlling void space in concrete by use of pozzolana material and by not use to fine ground cement mass so these are the main points you should consider to prevent alkali aggregate reaction as mentioned earlier there are the few important points we should consider for the alkali aggregate reaction as we know we are using the different type of the rocks silicaceous limestone and 
different types of the limestones in our construction material by forming of aggregates and we are making the aggregates from these rocks and this type of the rocks contains some raw materials which are responsible for the alkali aggregate reaction so if we are using the this kind of the aggregates this will responsible for the alkali aggregate reactions and cement is one of the important factor which is responsible for the alkali aggregate reaction for example you are using the cement mass which contain the high alkali content this will responsible for the alkali aggregate reaction so cement should contain alkali less than 0.6 percentage and the ideal temperature for the promotion of the alkali aggregate reactions is between 10 degree celsius to the 30 degree celsius so these are the ideal temperature for the alkali aggregate reaction so if our temperature is less than 10 degree ohm celsius and greater than 38 degree ohm celsius so this will not responsible for alkali aggregate reactions and as we know the moisture content and the void space which are the important factor for the alkali aggregate reaction because the increasing of the moisture content this will affect the and has the alkali aggregate reaction and if we talk about the void space in the concrete mass so these are the important factor this will affect to the alkali aggregate reactions because in the cement mass with decreasing the particle size of the binding material there will be increase or possibility of the alkali aggregate reactions so we should also consider the particle size of the binder material of the concrete mass for the alkali aggregate reaction so these are the few points we have to consider for preventing the alkali aggregate reaction first one is to use the non reactive type aggregates second one by restricting the alkali content in cement below 0.6 percentage third one is by controlling temperature the ideal temperature for the promotion of the alkali aggregate reaction range between 10 degree celsius to the 38 degree of celsius so if our concrete mass is less than 10 degree of celsius or greater than 38 degree of celsius so there will be less possibility of the alkali aggregate reaction and by the controlling of moisture content or void space in the concrete mass and we can also prevent the alkali aggregate reaction by the use of the pozzolana material and we can also control the alkali aggregate reaction by not using too fine binder material or cement mass in the concrete mass so this all about the alkali aggregate reaction